Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. So, here we are once again with the Rule the Waves uh, series, where we shall be playing as the Russian Empire. Now, it has been a little while since my last turn. Learned a little bit from my mistakes, so hopefully we'll be able to have a much better time around here now. Uh, it was a little unfortunate that we lost, um, was it Dalmatia? I think it was Dalmatia, yeah, that was a little unfortunate. But at least I know how the map works now, so that's fine. Uh, we are in the year of 1927, December 1927. And from what Tortuga has informed me of, we are at war with the uh, British Empire. So that's... that's gonna be fun. We are currently winning, I do believe, but uh, we're gonna see. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look then, and... Uh, uh, I'm not entirely sure of the situation, but Tortuga has left me, and so I'm gonna be rather intrigued to see how this goes. So we're not too far away from war with the Japanese either. Oh, which is intriguing. Uh, tensions are quite high across the board here at the moment in time. And the Imperator Magnuses are still alive, which is amazing. Uh, we have the THG class. <laughs> I notice a distinct lack of any of my classes. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the CVL that we have over here. The Red October. Let's take a look. View. Uh, we'll open the design take a look at that. Uh, I believe we will have a technology for full fleet carriers shortly, actually. So that's going to be rather intriguing. I've never actually used carriers, so this is going to be very, very fun. Okay. A position's there. Right. Oh. So we'll take a look, Ben. So we are currently, I do believe, let's double check, make sure everything's on screen here. Yeah, I can clearly see the bottom. That's very good news. Uh, so we are currently blockaded, which is not good. That's not good. We do have a healthy amount of funds here remaining, which is nice. Uh, we are losing some per month, but not too bad. Uh, ships under construction, we do have some uh, Dreadnoughts over here. I suppose I should say, uh, well, I don't know. I suppose Dreadnoughts, still super, I suppose they're super Dreadnoughts. I'm liking the design, I like this. This is something I would have probably built. <laughs> uh, 10, 14 inch guns, not bad, very economic. Uh, let's see. So they're both the same classes, and we do have a monster over here. Now, this is truly a Super Dreadnought. Uh, 11 16-inch guns, we do have the two quads there, and a triple, it seems, and we do have 26-inch guns. Uh, not bad, pretty pretty impressive there, actually. Let's take a look at the actual research, then. Naval guns, wow. Uh, X-Lighters, aircraft catapult, larger craft carrier... So we have 18 inch, uh, sorry, 18 inch guns of minus one quality. Uh, we do have still very good 12 inch guns, which is very nice to see. Uh, but the rest is not exactly fantastic, which is intriguing. So let's go ahead. I'm going to read some of the notes that Tortuga left me. Right. I got purpose built carriers unlocked one month ago. So if you need advice, you can those. Yep, yeah, okay. Let's see. We have some really good DDs being built. They have a tonnage ready for dual purpose guns. Okay. Uh, we are no longer top heavy as we have a series, a new set of nice, like cruisers with 25 heavy AA, I think it is. I acquired some coastal submarines. I would encourage a steady production of those until 1940 or so. Right. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I don't think I'm going to immediately begin with a new design. I think we're going to have to get. Sense of what's going on here in the world at large. So let's see then. We actually do have quite a decent amount of territory in Southeast Asia. That's very nice. Northeast Asia, yeah. The Brits have a base over here. Uh, alas, we lost Dalmatia. I would have liked Dalmatia again, but oh well. Right here. So we do not have an alliance at the moment, which is unfortunate. You can see that the Brits do have a good deal of dreadnoughts here. So we are blockaded at home. Let's take a look at submarines then. Uh, so that's a lot of submarines over there, but we should probably have more available. Air bases over here. Right, let's take a look then. Aircraft types. So, yeah, they're not terribly impressive at the moment, but they're, they're some, of, some of them are pretty decent. I mean, uh, 1,400 pounds, that's, that's a pretty big bomb. Right, carrier capable. That's a uh, torpedo bomb up there. So I think that might be the torpedo there, potentially. Still very large. 
Okay. So we did lose the Imperator Alexander II here. Sunk in the Battle of Golfland. Sorry, of Golfland? Of the uh, Gulf of Finland for British ships, unfortunately. Torpedoed by a French submarine over here. Sunk in the Battle, and, uh, Battle of Gotland with German ships. Okay, against German ships. Right. Okay, so we do have new destroyers being built then. Uh, let's see what we have then. What do we have in the home fleet? In the home port? Hmm. Right, so the vast majority of our strength is uh, actually concentrated here then. So what ships do remain? Do we have any of the... Uh, was this the class of ship I nearly broke myself to keep building? It might have been. I can't remember, actually. Magno. Magnu. I remember the charcoal cheaters. Those are cool. So they've been refitted. Okay, not bad, not bad. Yeah, we're not too top-heavy as we used to be, so that's quite nice. Uh, so we've been at war for four months here, then. Let's go ahead and just uh, go forward, then. Parliament authorized additional war loan. Okay, there we go. So that's always a nice way to start. The army wants more resources to prepare for an offensive that will shift the strategic initiative. Initiative. The Tsar is asking for your opinion. We're currently winning here. Hmm. I mean, this can either give me additional victory points or deny me, but sometimes you can actually gain some decent victory points. Um, I'm going to go with the army option here, and we'll see how that goes. It would be nice to see if the army could actually achieve a victory for us, to be honest. I mean, ideally, they might be able to net us some territory in Northeast Asia, to be honest. Right, Tupelo of TU, TU-27B. Range is better. Speed's, yeah, speed's better, has a heavier armament. They're not carrier capable, but that's okay, so we'll go ahead and take that. An enemy submarine has torpedoed and sunk our escort. Well, our corvette, I should say. That's unfortunate. Right, convoy defense. Uh, battle in support of land combat. Enemy is the Great uh, British Navy. So is the Royal Navy. Cameroon, what do we have in the area then? Uh, I don't think we have any uh, <laughs> anything over here. Yeah, okay, so they're going to gain quite a lot of victory points from things of that nature. So, we are losing income here. Uh, I think we have to wait for the big battles over here. Right, okay, fighter prototypes are ready for evaluation. I think speed really above all, for the most part. Range medium, it seems. Max speed, speed is always good. Uh, in fairness, the... Right, 12 there. Yeah, a little bit slower, we do have more maneuver. Toughness, a little bit tougher. And in service we have you, which is 134. So yeah, I think we will go with the actual fastest. The range isn't too much a consideration, I suppose. I think we need to have fighters that are very quick. Maneuverability isn't... Well, actually... Uh, hmm. Now this might represent the best of both worlds. It's 5 toughness. 13 maneuverability, 2 firepower. Range is a little bit less. Seems a light range, or... Whichever this stands for is actually not too bad. And speed slight kind of between, so I guess we'll go for that. Our forces are fighting valiantly in Cameroon. Oh dear. There's not much I can do. Right, okay. Hmm. A difficult time to be sure. We are winning though, so it's not too bad. I still have some room here to wiggle with. We are going to have to just try and hope for the best. Let's see. Seems need to double check when my turn actually ends. <laughs> right. Hmm. Okay, you take it from January 28th to the end of December 1931. That works for me. Actually, let's take a look then. So design, let's see. Can I actually create a full aircraft carrier? So what we're going to do then is actually just have one auto generated for the time being. I think we can. Now, from what Tortuga has told me, he says... Um, right. 
at close to 100 aircraft, but not over. Around 2 to 3 inches of belt and deck. 5 inch dual purpose if we have them. Otherwise, 4 inch dual purpose main guns. Uh, total as high torpedo defense as possible. And around 20k. Okay. Hmm. Right, so we're going to do then is drop the tonnage down here then. Uh, speed, let's see. Well, what I'm going to do then, we don't need that much in the way of uh, belt. At the end of the day, they're not intended to be shot at anyway. And if they are, then, oh, uh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> uh, deck armor would be quite nice. So what do we have here then? So we have some guns, let's see. Drop these. So clear the turrets. The time being. So this is all on open armor, that's pretty good. Remove director, okay. Secondary guns there, just remove those for the time being. Right. I'll drop the speed down to 27 knots here. So flight deck, air capacity, this is what we need then. So we're going to aim for as close to 100 as we can get then. Which is going to be rather intriguing. So I do need to... Right, is it worthwhile having a catapult? I'm not entirely sure how these function, to be fair. Okay, it doesn't seem I can have that. Okay. I've never designed a carrier before, so this is all new to me. So if it doesn't work, I'm going to blame... <laughs> I'm going to blame Tortugi. Uh, okay. Interesting. Box protection, okay, from the magazines. Hmm. Not too much to be gained there. Right, speed of defense, right, accommodation, not much gained there either. Uh, Conning Tower, okay. So, this would be the Leningrad. I'm not entirely too uh, ecstatic about it. But let's see what we have then. So, 5 inch jewel or 4 inch jewels. Let's see. Double turret. Right, these are dual purpose. It might be that we just stick with this. I don't know if we have the 5 inch dual purpose. No, we do not. So 4 inch it is. Right. So let's see here. Turrets. Use that. Oh, we don't have any main turrets anyway, it's just the secondaries. Cutting tower's quite heavy. Hmm. If I dropped a knot of speed, we could potentially increase armament. Okay, this is AA. Sort of those of how effective the AA actually is. That's very heavy. Flight deck armor, okay. Hmm. We'll make that 2.5. Oh, wow, that is so very, very heavy. An inch, is it even potentially worth that? It's actually quite a difficult decision here as to what a good carrier looks like, to be honest. Let's remove those for the time being. I don't need them. So I could go for additional um, four inch, well, dual four inch, uh, dual purpose guns. With a director. Light AA there, 48. That is very, 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 very heavy. There's a little bit of armor there. I could, <clears throat> speed is very important, to be fair. 26 knots there. Hmm. <laughs> 
Hmm. Right, it is a tough decision here, really. Uh, the thing is, I don't want to make something too monstrous. It's, it's meant to have probably more carriers, I suppose. Accommodation is fine. We do have the best torpedo protection here. Um, deck armor is 2.5. We do have this. I don't know if I want the hangar side armor, but I suppose it's worthwhile having. I'm going to put this into production. Now, this is the first time I've ever designed a carrier, so do forgive me. If it is indeed terrible, I, I probably imagine it would be knowing my luck. But yeah, there we go. We do have a couple tons spare. I'm going to leave that spare. 48 aircraft ain't bad. Uh, what we'll do then is we'll save this for the time being, Venice of Leningrad. So let's see. Oh, we have inclined belt. I don't even know where that is. Right, ship has no fire control position. Okay. Can I have secondary guns if you have no mains? Ah, oh, right. Okay, so can I remove these and just put the four inches here then? Let's see, four inch. Ah, oh, there we go. Right, that makes sense then. Right, oh. How does that work? Right, so obviously there's center line. Sorry, I didn't mean to have center line. <laughs> uh, wing it is. Wing it is. Oh, so we don't have them apparently yet. Hmm. Right, so I don't know if we can actually build these as of yet then. What the hell is the inclined belt? I don't even know what the inclined belt is. Hmm. Right, let's also design then, let's see what it comes up with. I wonder where the incline belt was coming from then. How many aircraft on here then? 31. Well, what I can do then is actually increase the weight then. We'll drop that there. Increase the amount of torpedo protection. So, we do have 7 inch guns here. We're going to reduce those down. It might be just because I was placing them in the wrong positions, to be fair. Right, so dual purpose. Let's see if I'll allow it. Secondary guns must be spawned and main guns, okay. Then also dual purpose. Let's see, right. Has not developed dual purpose mountains for that gun. Right, okay. Uh, hmm. Looks like the Lexington here, actually. Kind of similar. So, I could go with something like that. But I don't think it's going to let me have that. Hmm. We might stick with the five inch guns over here. Do we have right, so we have six inch guns of quality of one. That might be worthwhile just to hold on to then. Uh then let's see. Four inch dual purpose is fine, so I can just fill it up with light dual. Four inch. Right, so that's a lot of dual purpose four inch guns. Too many secondary guns for ship type. So let's see. Reduce that down. Too many still. There we go. So 18... Sorry, 16 is what we can actually afford to have here then. And let's see. Can I place them as jewels? 
Right, to send due to the lack of accurate train elevation for secondary. Hmm. Right, I can't have them as dual purpose then. They've got to be singles, which is a shame, but we'll go for that. I suppose we could always replace it in the future. Uh, but we'll go ahead and take a look at what we have here then. So it doesn't look like they actually give it the armor. I think we might give it some armor. But then again, is it worth it? It's one of these of, um, is the armor actually worth having? And it's like case of yes and no. I think it'd be worthwhile to have more aircraft, to be honest. And you can see really how much that soaks up there. It's a huge amount of uh, weight there. Right, Conning Tower. Deck, okay. I could drop a not a speed, potentially. But yeah, it looks better. I don't know what I must have been doing then. This is actually significantly better than... Uh, Right, we do have 6-inch guns here. I could potentially drop them a little bit more, but hey. Right. Do they need a director? I'm going to give them a director then. That seems to help. More fire control positions then. Accommodations is fine. Could drop that a little bit and maybe try to add a few more aircraft. Or... I think I'll add on more AA. As much as I can. Oh, right, there we go. We're at the much as we can part already. So, 64 of. There we go. Can sneak on a couple more aircraft. So, 48 aircraft then. Not bad, I suppose. Right. It's not bad. To be fair. Hmm. Or maybe I drop that down again and up the amount of deck armor. I think I'll go for a little bit more deck armor for the cost of two aircraft. Uh, I know it is like affecting what I said earlier. But I think that's probably worth it for another half inch. Do I go for magazine box? Belt and deck halved in other areas. Hmm. Maybe we do go for as many aircraft as possible, actually. 54. Uh, yeah. Okay, I guess we'll go for that. So I'm going to save that. Right. And four months. Okay. To develop it. I'm going to say no. What I'm going to do, though, is save it for now. So this is the Tashkent CV. Oh. <laughs> the Sovietsky. <laughs> uh, Mark II. Okay. I guess you're just going to save it as that, man. Oh, is that opening? Right, now we'll just leave it for the time being, man. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the other nation ships and try and get an idea of it. Let's see. Almanac. So we're the only nation in the world with a carrier, then. Which is really good. Oh, no, sorry. We have a actual carrier, fleet carrying service. There are CVLs in service, then. The Brits have four, unfortunately. Let's take a look at the actual CVL that we have and compare it to what we would be building. Oh, we do actually have a actual carry here, so let's take a look. That's a, uh... Interesting design there. <laughs> I wonder what this used to be. That's so cool, though. Red October, standing by. Right, okay, so you could actually carry 34 aircraft. So we would be carrying more aircraft, which is good then. Uh, now, do we bring them... Do we start to produce them? I don't know. Oh dear. Condenser troubles. Battleship engagements. This is an invasion battle. I can't do anything about it. Wait, did I gain VP? Sorry, I didn't actually read what it said there. Okay, we can't do anything there. It might be in uh, Northeast Asia where we can actually succeed then. That's good. 
Right, two muscles do we have you, four muscles do we have you. Carry on as we are. And good night, Britain is dominating the seas in Northern Europe, our forces are too weak. Okay. Uh that's not good. Naval gun research. We have improved seven inch guns, that's really, really nice actually. Fighting valiantly in Cameroon. Right, okay. We're still winning though, which is actually very nice. Oh, we may win this. Our top spy has managed to get hold of the plans for the latest German improved two-inch guns. Very nice. As studies of enemy ships and tactics helped... Oh, still fighting. Right, okay. Very nice. Oh, here we do have a raid. Now, I will engage in this battle. But we are going to be quite conservative. Oh no, the sound's going to get very loud here in a second. There we go. This game's ridiculously loud. <laughs> at times it is. Okay, so let's take a look at what we actually do have then. So we do have the Imperators over here. So these are 40,000 ton ships, armed with the 8 16 inch guns. That's very nice. I'm not too familiar with their actual range here, so let's take a look. Let's take a look and figure you out, my baby. Okay, so we do have a decent number of mines. I think what we do here then is potentially, um, let's see, is there any objectives? No. Okay. Right. The Soryatsky. We do have our carrier over here then. Right, okay, so I think this is the wind direction. So I think we do want to have you turn towards the wind, as far as I'm aware of how carriers work. Right, so... It is the first time I've ever used carriers, so do forgive me if I'm doing this wrong. I've never used them. I'm going to have to figure this one out on the fly. I know I'm not as good as the other guys. Do forgive me. Show air formations, okay. Handle combat patrol. That is awesome. I guess we'll go ahead and do that. I'm actually quite happy to leave him under AI control for the now. Uh, for now, sorry. Right, Svetlana has spotted an enemy submarine. So that looks to be over here then, so we do need to move out of that area. Light screen will turn about. So what are you part of? So you're attached over here to support, okay. So we'll avoid that area with the submarine then. They have switched to AI control. So we do have our Corvettes over here then. Now let's take a look. Airstrike. So, ready strike. So, I think I need to actually have a target before I can do this. Right, these are the naval targets over here. Okay. We'll learn this as we go ahead. Hmm. Right, continue. So do you have merchants down here? I'm liking the carriers so far then. They're going to be mightily interesting, I can uh, definitely assume. I've not lost a uh, decisive battle yet, so I'm not doing too bad. <laughs> There's still time yet. Hmm. No reports so far. Beyond the Svetlana spotted enemy submarine. Uh, I think I'm 
think what we'll do then is continue stay as we go. I do want to stay reasonably close to our coastal batteries. The reason being not so much that they're particularly useful, but the reason being at least it is additional firepower that might distract the Royal Navy forces. Uh, but unfortunately, this is where we're going to have to call the episode. So thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.